Uh. Okay, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel or whatever. It's me, your girl, Jayla O, here with another video, okay? And sidebar, yeah. Y'all gonna have to excuse my face today because, you know, I decided to, you know, just wake up like this and I did because, you know, it's Fresh Face Friday and ain't nobody gonna check me about not wearing lashes, so. Anyways, anyways, yes. Okay, so my birthday just passed, December 19th. Your girl turned the big 2-0, okay? And I was just thinking, like, dang, like, I'm really 20 years old. Like, I'm really grown. Like, I'm in a whole different decade, you feel me? I'm grown. I'm not a teenager no more. My life has had so many, I just had so many life lessons that I'm very grateful for and I don't regret nothing. So I was just like, hmm, let me tell them about the 20 things I have learned before I turn 20. So here I am, okay? And I wrote it down, you know, because your girl be forgetting stuff. And I actually learned a lot, so I had to narrow it down. I had to white out some things, but anyways, we are gonna get this thing started. Okay, so this is not in any type of order. I just randomly writ wrote them down. So yeah, okay. So first lesson is to let go and let God, okay? Period, okay, let go and let God, and also the power of prayer. Because when you pray for something and you really believe, and you just leave all your worries to Him, honey, He will work it out for you. Period, okay. Number two, let's see. You need to. Sur I need. I learned that I need to surround myself with boss friends, people who are like-minded. You feel me? Like I just can't be well. Not just person, but in general, like you just can't be around a whole lot of people who just not doing nothing with themselves or who are not trying to do nothing, who are not motivated. You feel me? You gotta be around a group of friends that's gonna motivate you and y'all motivate each other. Y'all gotta feed off each other, bounce off each other. You feel me? Like number three, everything happens for a reason. Okay. I feel like that's self explanatory. Everything happened for a reason. Let's see. Number four, be attentive, y'all. Cause you know, I'm so good with not paying attention and then I just miss out on things cause I don't pay attention. So yeah, be attentive. That was a good lesson I learned in my 20 years of life. Um, oh, number five, how to block people, okay? People out here is crazy. They haters, okay? I didn't learn how to block people. First, I didn't want to block nobody. Cause my day ain't gonna feel some type of way. But what they gonna do, beat me up? No, I ain't got beat up yet. So yeah, blocking people is very therapeutic. Um, Number six, don't have high expectations. Okay. Yeah, don't have, yeah. Cause then what if don't, whatever you expecting, don't meet it, then gonna be sad. Might as well just have low expectations. So if they do meet your high expectations, you're like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Anyways. Um, ooh, number seven. I learned not to apologize for my feelings. Okay. Well, I don't really like apologizing anyway, <laughs> but I'm never gonna apologize for my feelings. If you make me feel some type of way, so I'm not gonna apologize for it. people. People try to make you feel bad for feeling the way you feel, and we're not allowed to do that over here, okay? Number eight. Mm. If he or she wants to, then he or she will, okay? If that dude wanna text you, he will. If she wanna stop messing with that dude, keep it true, guess what? She will. But guess what? If they don't, then guess what? They don't want to, and that is okay. Um, number nine, don't change for nobody, okay? Period. Do not change yourself, your morals for anybody, okay? Because if they can't accept you for how you are, then they not the one for you, okay? Because this one never gonna change. Mm -mm, unless it's for the better, but she not gonna change for nobody, period. Mm, number 10, uh, 
I learned that not everybody thinks like me. Like I said in my past video, you know, I'm kind of insensitive. And I got to remember that not everybody got the same mindset as me. Not everybody got the same common sense as me. Not everybody is as clean as me, especially when you live with other people. <laughs> but yes, not everybody thinks like me, okay? Number 11. Ooh. Y'all, and I don't mean to attack anybody when I'm 11, but personally, the movies is not a first date, okay? Like, in high school, my mama never let me go to the movies as a first date. She was like, no. <laughs> it did well of my friends. In ninth grade, I remember this little boy wanted to take me to the movies or whatever, and I told her, and like, they was in 10th grade, and I was like, yeah, he wanna take me to the movies, and she was like, uh-uh, girl, um, don't go to the movies with him as a date, cause all he want, gonna wanna do is finger f you, and guess what? She was right, we never went to the movies, but now I realized what type of dude he was, and I was like, that's true, so yeah. The movie's not a first date, like, what we gonna do? Why we why are we sitting in the dark watching the movie in silence for a first date? Boo, what? Know your worth. Mm -mm. Number twelve. <sighs> I learned to be careless. Period. Okay, like city girls living life so careless. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> You know, be careless, have no regrets. I have a whole tattoo that say no regrets because I really believe in that. Like, do you be careless, have no regrets? Here it go. It's a little ashy. Ooh, let me, let me lotion it. Let me lotion this because I'm not about to put my ashy foot on YouTube and then folks talk about me. But, um, I don't know. If y'all can see it, yeah. That says no regrets. We hope. Okay. Um, number 13, don't compare your behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. And by that, I'm really talking about social media. You know, social media is great. But a lot of times we see other people our age, we feel like they might be doing better than us. And you know, a lot of times, like, I used to compare myself a lot. Then I just realized, like, no, I can't be doing that because I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I don't know how... Sis got that Gucci bag, okay? <laughs> like, I don't know how. Like, I don't know what Shotty had to go through in order to get that car. Like, I don't know. Like, yeah, Sis' relationship might look good, but he could be cheating on her. Like, you just never know. So don't compare your life to what you see on social media because you just never know. Um, Number 14, people are always watching. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to do me, period. I don't care what y'all think. But you gotta keep in mind, someone is always watching you. Whether they're watching you, you know, they want to see you do good, or they watching you because they're ready to see you fall. Period. Number fifteen, you must be multi-talented. Like with me, I'm a mass media art student. So you feel me? Getting in front of the camera, I can't. That's not the only thing I need to know how to do. I have to know how to write. I have to know how to edit. You got to be multi-talented so you could be, you know, versatile. Because people going to want you to be more versatile. On number 16, <laughs> if somebody's mad at me, they're going to get over it, period. Like, it takes a lot for me to apologize because I feel deep down inside, you're going to get over it. So, I'm not even going to entertain you being mad. Because 9 times out of 10, if you mad at me, it's for a dumb reason. It's not a lot when it's not like a lot of times where I actually do something terrible to somebody, you know, and it's just unforgivable because I'm a good person. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, number 17. This is for the dudes out here. If he is intimidated by the city girls' music, then he's weak. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, if you, if you are intimidated by City Girls music, then you are weak, period. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like I don't have to, you know, explain that. Like, you're, you're weak. Or you broke, or if you were intimidated by City Girls music, you broke. And it's okay to be broke if you like, you know, you trying to do better, but I feel like most dudes who are intimidated by the city girls' music, they are comfortable with being broke, okay? They don't want girls who know their worth, and they probably not even that cute, so. Hmm. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, number 18. 
if it's not free, it's not for me. Meaning, I know my worth when it comes to my pockets, okay? A lot of things, if it's not free, I'm not there. I'm not paying $20 to get into a party just to shake my behind, okay? Like, whoo, these, these parties are killing me. Thinking that I'm a whole female and I'm a paid to get into a party. No. Y'all the ones that want the females to be there, but yet y'all want us to pay to get in for what? For what? I ain't paying for nothing. So yeah, if it's not free, it's not for me, period. And then, ooh, number 19. Move in silence, okay? Move in silence. Because if you let folks know what your next move is, they're going to try to do it before you or they're going to try to hope and pray that, you know, it don't work out for you. So you just got to move and out and surprise, folks. And number 20, my last life lesson of my 20 years is that it is okay to be single and it is okay to be alone, okay? Because, like, in middle school, I used to want a boyfriend so bad. In high school, I used to want a boyfriend so bad and I had, like, one or two. But... Now that I'm grown, I'm just like, <laughs> child, it's okay to be single, okay? Just because you're single, I mean nothing wrong with you. Cause I mean, look at me, look at me, period. I'm single, ain't nothing wrong with this over here, okay? Mm. <laughs> I'm single cause I want to, period, okay? This this face and this personality ain't nothing wrong with this, period, okay? <laughs> But anyways, yes, that was my 20 before 20. I hope you all enjoyed, okay? Y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and also ring that bell <laughs> for notifications, okay? See y'all next time.